This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Write a parameterized constructor in the crop class to assign specific values to instance variables using the this keyword. Ooh, that's a lot of lingo. So I'm headed over to the crop class. Um, write a no argument. Wait a minute. They just said parameterize. Ooh, they did this out of fine. Uh, so here's the parameterized one. And guys, don't let this scare you, right? A constructor just means it's a method with the name of the class. And we use it when we're creating objects from that class. So let's just dive in because I think it will be less scary when we do so. So we're going to have this be public and then we're going to do crop and this one's going to be parameterized. And so what that means is here there's going to be variables. Now what variables write a parameterized to assign specific values to the instant variables. These are what we mean by instant variables. They're variables located in the class itself. So type and num days. Okay. And so if they want us to use a this keyword, we're going to go ahead and use these words exactly. So that was string type. And then it was int num days. And again, notice mine matches theirs exactly. And this is a common approach when doing uh, constructors, parameterized ones. So now I have crop right? Except I want to give these type and num days values. How can I do that? The problem here is if I do type equals type, when I hit run, the computer will have no idea what I mean. It will be like, what? Type is here. So what am I assigning a value to? Which type becomes what? And so the way we make the computer understand is inside of this method, it's going to use this type. <laughs> it's funny to say type. So we use the value from here, right here, because it is scoped. It is the closest value, you could say, uh, to where this is being used. Now, to clarify or to let the computer know, hey, computer, we want to use the class type. And so if I use the this keyword, that tells it, hey, this class type. So, hey, 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 don't use this one. Go and grab that one. So now whatever value is passed into here. We're going to use the classes type and it will now be set to equal whatever value we pass. Now I have to do the same for num days. Okay, that's looking good. Write a no argument constructor in the crop class to assign default values to the instance variables using the this keyword. Okay, so that's going to be really similar. So I'm just going to do a control C or command C if you're on a Mac, control V or command V if you're on a Mac. Now I just need to get rid of the parameters, right? Because it's still a constructor. And they want me to assign default variables. It doesn't look like they give me any default variables. So a type of crop, I will say corn. And because uh, movie theater popcorn is my favorite thing on earth. And number of days, uh, that's definitely an integer. Um, I guess the number of days it takes the crop to mature. Oh, I don't uh 40? Sure. Okay. In the farmer run, instantiate a crop object using each constructor. Let me just hit run real quick. And the reason I do this is a lot of times if I have an error, it will let me know when I hit run. That way I can catch it early. Okay, let me head over here. They want me to instantiate a crop objects using each constructor. So let me do that and then I'll talk about it. Okay, so now you should think of better names for these, but I assign my object crop equals no arg constructor object because I want to be clear. Now what this should do is it should equals new crop. The computer says, what the heck is new crop? And it's going to start looking for it. Where? Bloop. It goes over here, right? We tell it crop, crop object, what method, crop. It goes over here and says, ah, okay, we have no argument, so I must run this. And the type will be set to corn, uh, days 40. Now this one, param constructor object, should run, same deal, whoop, over here. Oh, they don't mean this one because I have parameters, so I have arguments here. And so now it will execute this and assign the values I pass. Now what's left is print the constructors of values assigned to instant variables uh, for the crop objects. How do I print? They should give us something helpful here. We can give this a shot, I guess. I just copied it. Uh, control. Boom. So that's, let me get down the print information and then I'll explain. I'm going to use git type and git num days to print the stuff. All right, let me see if I broke anything. 
Okay, so this is looking good. Now, what did I do here? Um, actually, so first I printed the constructors. I actually only need to put in one of the objects and it will print both the instructors. To distinguish between my two items, I wrote no arg here, no arg, because this is the one without arguments, and it shows the default of corn and 40. Crop shows apple and 120, like I set up here. All right. Keep in mind, you should pick your own crop. You should pick better method names. You could also print all of this on the same line. I just did it how I did it. Let's see. Awesome. Onward.